It's the first Android platform built entirely for the Gemini era, for both headsets and glasses. With advances in AI and an amazing ecosystem of device and developer partners, we believe the time for XR is now. We're getting started today with headsets. They're a great entry point for Android XR. And if you build for headsets, you'll be laying the foundation for other form factors that follow later. If you build for Android, you're already building for Android XR. And with Google's groundbreaking multimodal AI that understands context, we completely transform the meaning of natural interaction. I'm very excited to present the first device designed for Android XR. Codename, Project Muhan. We're thrilled to show you live what it's like to experience Android XR and some of the capabilities of the platform. Uh, maybe we could take the team here tonight if you're feeling seafood. Hey, Gemini, can you take me to this restaurant? Sure, I can take you to the Clam in New York. For Android developers, we're extending the tools and frameworks like Android Studio and our Jetpack libraries to XR. And for Unity developers, we'll support Unity's editor and popular XR packages. You'll be able to share your apps the same way you always have as we open the Play Store to XR. And your existing compatible apps can work without any additional effort. These components appear like typical 2D UI when spatial UI isn't available, and they show your app's spatial UI when they can. If your app adapts well across other devices like phones and tablets, you can share a single binary across form factors. You don't have to manage multiple code bases or manage multiple builds throughout your app's launch and update processes. Since we launched Android XR in December, we've already been seeing lots of developers building. One developer, though, really caught my eye, Adam McNeely, a Google developer expert who started broadcasting on Twitch live while he codes for Android XR for everyone to see. I recently caught up with Adam to talk to him about his experience transitioning to Android XR. Personally, I have no experience with any 3D tooling or virtual reality, so I was worried about a steep learning curve for Android XR. However, after I got started, I found that being able to use a programming language and development environment that I already use on a daily basis made the transition very smooth from the 2D mobile space into this 3D immersive environment. Android XR development builds upon familiar mobile app concepts, things like designing user interfaces and understanding how users navigate through our application. But the form factor also brings unique considerations because it changes the way users interact with our applications. We're no longer one app on a digital screen, but we're one of many apps that can exist together in a fully immersive, infinite viewport. Android XR also brings unique immersive and mixed reality experiences. Functionality like pass-through cameras allow us to blend the digital with the physical. Breaking out of that 2D mobile environment and bringing digital content into the user's physical space around them, all through the perception capabilities of Android XR. We really like to think about Android XR as the newest member of the Android family, built on top of the existing foundations that mobile Android developers have become used to. Building for Android XR using familiar tools like Kotlin, Android Studio, and Jetpack libraries has made it very accessible. Of course, there are some challenges, access to hardware being a big one. The emulator has been great and often feels like an extension of other large screen support, but I'm really looking forward to later this year when Samsung launches Project Muhan so we can experience that truly immersive environment on real hardware. Now, if you could just say one thing to developers thinking about building for Android XR, what would that be? My biggest piece of advice for someone interested in Android XR is the same advice I'd give for any other technology. Just start. I know it can be intimidating that it's a brand new form factor, but the nice thing is it's new to all of us. It's just as new to a seasoned Android developer as it is for someone just beginning to program, so you're not alone in your struggles. Head over to the documentation, try out a sample apps, try out the code labs, and get anything running on an emulator. Once you've experienced that virtual environment, begin tweaking small things to get familiar with the spatial APIs and see what you're capable of building. I know you're all going to build amazing things. Thanks, Adam. It's always so great to catch up with our developers. Now, if you want to follow Adam's Android XR adventures, check out his Twitch channel in the description. We are thrilled to share that Resolution Games is bringing Demio to Android XR. This is a great example of Android XR's commitment 
to open standards like OpenXR. And our strong partnership with Unity enables developers to easily bring their existing OpenXR-based titles to the platform. The Android XR SDK Developer Preview is now available, enabling you to begin development today. Visit developer.android.com slash XR, where you will find all the tools, the libraries, and resources you need to take your apps into a whole new dimension, including our brand new Android XR emulator, allowing you to test out your apps built with a Jetpack XR SDK without an XR device. We are really looking forward to all of the amazing things you'll be building for Android XR. Thank you.